Hey folks, this is Jason with Time in the Outdoors. That's a dam. This is De Pere. I'm going to be fishing for fish. Mainly sheephead, white bass, and catfish. Um, we're going to start off fishing for bait. I got the Luz Custom Pro uh, spinning reel on here on a St. Croix uh, bass. This one happens to be the Ned Rig version. This is the medium light. I'm just going to be throwing a jig right up into there. So we're going to see how this goes. Tipped with a little bit of crawler. Usually I can pound a few fish. The goal is to get a few of these little, uh, say, rough fish in order to get enough to actually uh, go catfishing. So just a piece of night crawler and we're sitting pretty. Fish on. Drum. Or a catfish. Drum. Big drum. Okay, he's too big for catfish bait. There he is. Too big for catfish bait. Barely hooked, too. Okay, goodbye. Slimy. Fish on. Big fish. Oh, fish off. I think he snapped me. Nope. There's enough fish where I'm going to try a plastic. Try this weird chartreuse looking thing. All right, I need a small one. And I might have to switch over to my other heavier rod. This is a medium light. I might need the medium. Sit down so you can actually see me. There's a fish. This is on the large mighty mite. Again, too big. That's getting better though. I might be able to get, no, no, we're not gonna sacrifice this one. Usually the fish are stacked here beyond measure. It's a lot of fun. Just a few hops, popping right on the bottom. Ooh, there's a fish. Ooh, it's a giant Torvalis. This one's big. This lose reel is very nice. I love this setup already. Yeah, this one's big. I'm gonna have to net this one. Well, maybe not. I do not care what anyone says. That's fun. That's very fun. Looks like they're getting some white bass.
White bass are fun. Missed them. Got him. Another giant fish. Listen to that drag. Oh, just a freaking monster. Listen to that drag. This is just... Why more people don't do this is beyond me. Again, all on plastics. This one I got a net. This one's in the couple pounds range. I don't know why more people don't do this. This is like catching ocean fish. That is a big, big, big freshwater drum. What was that? Two hops, three hops on the bottom. Boom, 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 fish. That's nuts. Do it again. medium light and giant uh, sheephead freshwater drum, or as Talon calls them, freshwater Toro Valley, is a lot of fun. I gotta catch a smaller fish so I can actually uh, get going here. I have yet to catch a small fish. This time of year up here in De Pere, Wisconsin, is on the Fox River. It just, to be honest with you, it's friggin' amazing. It's a lot of everything. Mm. Putting on a spoon. Not a sumo spoon, just a spoon. actually called a pixie spoon. I use these up in Alaska. Yep, got another one. Maybe they're in this faster current. Seem to be. Look at him. Man, that's fun. Should have brought a cooler. These are all run from Lake Winnebago. Ooh, there's a male. He's getting male juice on me. Go away. We're just gonna call it male juice because that's a nice thing to say. Oh yeah, they're all stacked up here. That's two hits in a row. Casting into that slack water right there. It's not a stupid spoon. Seriously, it's a dumb looking bait. Got him. Oh, whatever this is, this is fun. It's big. I might have to net whatever this one is. I don't know what this is. This might be a catfish. Or a big, 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 big giant trevally, as Talon calls him again. I'm not going to horse this one. I want this fish. I haven't got one in a little while. 
I got a flash of him, couldn't tell what he was. I think it's a giant sheep. Oh, look at that, look at that. That is so fun. Yeah, giant sheep, giant freaking sheep. We're talking a 15 pounder. On a medium light rod, I don't know how you beat this. It's gonna be a little bit. And he's in the net. That is a big flipping fish. Wait till you guys see this thing. Jeez, that's got weight. That, that seriously got weight. That is fun. That's fun. Get him unhooked if he wants to come off. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> and he's back. <laughs> that was a ball. <laughs> that's, that's why I come to De Pere this time of year, folks. I mean, look at the, look at the rig. I mean, seriously, look at this. You, you can't do much better. It's just your standard twister tail on an under small underspin, a roadrunner underspin. It's a power bait. I mean, my God, that's fun. Guys next to me just caught a really nice smallmouth. Got him, whatever it is. I'm gonna guess it's a white bass. Head shake, a lot of head shake. Ooh, maybe not. Yep, white bass, nice one. God, these are big white bass this year. Look at the size of these things. That's a nice white bass anywhere. It's a weird dam. Just saying. Ooh. Okay, time to move. We've had our fun here. Okay, got to reel in the catfish rods. Make sure everything's semi put away so I don't squish stuff. Then we'll go from there. I'm going to shut you off. I felt him. I got him. That is fun. Nothing huge. Nice head shake, nice pull. Another one. Oh, he flipped my night crawler. It's all right, I got enough. I saw him on the graph and there's, there's a nice transition up here where it goes kind of from eight, and then it starts dropping into a deep hole and the fish usually stack. There he is. Right on there. That's bad for your rod, don't do that. That was the last bit of crawler. 
we're officially done. Let me do a close, everybody. Ooh, we're gonna look this way. You know, a lot of people decide they don't want to come up and fish for trash fish, but it's a great way to hone your skills. It's a lot of fun. You catch constant action. You don't catch constant action, you catch constant fish. I highly recommend you guys try it. Come up to De Pere. Come up at the end of May. You've seen my videos like this. The very first video I made was right up there. Um, matter of fact, I think it was right here, maybe up just a little farther, but it's always fun. Please give it a shot. De Pere, Wisconsin, end of May. Tight lines, everybody. This is Jason with Time in the Outdoors. Welcome to the 2021 open water season. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to like and subscribe. Bye.